welcome to a new vlog. It is Sunday and I just wanted to show you the plants that I've bought today because I am very excited that they're going in. Brent is just working outside and he's kind of leveling off the driveway. Mia, we're going out in a minute, honest. Um, we've taken a load of slabs up, we've taken a load of brickwork up and we have laid a border so we can put some plants in the border and hopefully by the end of it, it will look beautiful. We're having gravel on the front, and before I go outside and show you everything that's going on out there, I wanted to show you my plants. So, we've got a begonia just there, these two, this one just here, and this one, they're salvias, and again, we've gone for like a white, that's got a white flower there, we've gone for white, purple, blue kind of vibe on the front garden. We've got a few lavender plants, but that's the only one that's got flowers on it. Um, we've got another couple there that will hopefully be a bit more revitalised by the time they're in. We've got a rhododendron, again, a little purple flower. And I'm not sure what that one, how you say that one? Virginia, Virginia? I'm not sure, we'll see. The bees are all out at the minute, but there's not a lot. There's no plant life on the garden right now other than trees and bushes that don't have flowers. So I'm very excited about that. Right, I'm gonna have to go outside now and actually do some work rather than talk to you. Okay, this is where we are currently at. So we've got a mound of bricks at the front. We've put this wall or this little, what's it called? Border edging in. I've just planted some um, flowers just there got this border edging in, it does need a slight bit of uh, movement in there but this bit is where we're going to put all the flowers, all the plants and then all the way up we've got a tree that we haven't dug out there and we're going to have to level all of this off around here because it goes around the corner just there. We're going to level all of this off, put some plants in the far corner and um, do you like my gloves? I know they're, uh, they're matching my outfit today and Bren is just doing a little bit of tidying up just there. I'm being very careful not to show the front of my house, so excuse the uh, very precise camera angles. Um, and then we're just going to put, or at least measure out, for this membrane. See if we need any more, see if we've got enough, and see if it needs cutting, really. So we're just doing that now. So after a quick run to B&M to fetch some more membrane, we now have a membrane driveway apart from this bit because Bren is going to build more of a step here and put the bricks in and then this bit that's going to be like full of pots. We haven't got round to this today however that will be full of flowers but because we've membraned here we haven't had time to membrane here as well and the weather is just not the best. So yeah, that's gonna look good. Oh, we've got a dog. Hi, how are you doing? Come on then, here we go. It is a cup of tea time now, and I think we're gonna leave it there for today. So we've still got a bit to do, I say maybe tomorrow, hopefully tomorrow, but I've just had an email saying that the gravel is arriving tomorrow and not midweek like it was meant to be. So we are going to be busy for the next couple of days because i think it'll come in the big bags we've got four big bags and we're going to have to rake it out and we've got one rake unless we borrow one from somewhere but yeah that is going to be a heavy job and bren is probably have to going to have to do most of it but we'll see and i just can't wait for it to come together now I hate to say it but it might get finished tomorrow or at least if not by tuesday if I get my finger out with the planting and the beds and then Brent is able to do most of the raking. But we'll see. So, yeah. Good night for tonight and I'll see you tomorrow. After lots of work, this is where we're currently at. 
Still some raking to do. Just come over here. And then we're gonna need some more. Right, because I can do no more to this bit right now, for a few reasons. One, we don't have enough. Two, I just ache, <laughs> basically. Um, so I'm going to have a rest for a bit, but I am going to start on this bit. I think it's going to take a bit of work to get that bit organised, just there. Obviously we've got to tidy it up, get all the bricks out and everything. And then I'm going to arrange the plants that we bought but again we're gonna need a few more this is the current plant situation so I've laid them all out where I think they'll go I've just separated little borders with these bricks and it just goes round and I've put the lavenders towards the front because you know if you like sweep past them or something They'll just smell really nice and they'll be the closest to you. And then all the like salvias, they'll grow quite tall, hopefully, there at the back and then a nice reflection on the fence. This had to be a slight change of plan because we don't have enough compost to do the whole border and there isn't enough soil that we have that we can get at that we'll do for topsoil until we can get some more compost and I mean garden centres, uh, B&Q, like any supermarket they're all struggling and running low on compost so it might be a while. We've had to order some more gravel and that's not going to come for another two weeks so for now I am going to half the border where I'm going to put the plants because if I don't plant the plants in what we've got they're gonna die and yeah it it'll be a waste of money in the end i'm gonna do that now and fingers crossed the plants make it and we have enough compost in a couple of weeks to do the rest of it and we will have to buy some more plants because instead of really spreading them out i'm gonna put them closer together we're having a little rejig and this is where the plants are. there's already a bee on that one look can you see that there's already a bee enjoying it which is good to see this is what i wanted a very bee friendly garden um so yeah this is the new layout i've checked on all the plants to see how big they grow to see how much they spread um so hopefully this should be okay as is and we've got two lots of compost so I'm going to put the compost out, take the plants out of the pots, lay the compost down. I still don't think that's going to be enough. We'll have to work with what we've got for now. Um, I might be able to go and buy some more. This was like last week when people were struggling for compost, so we'll see. And then put the liner on top of that. We've got the first plant in. My uh, lining cutting isn't the neatest of jobs, however, it will do. And then, look at that. We're going to put some bark on this, so this is going to look good. Um, and then I'm just going to cut a hole just in that one and then line it again and continue. It's going to look good. Well, I'm hoping so. I can't say that yet because I haven't seen it.
let's carry on with the rest. So I'm leaving it there for today. We have ordered some more gravel and we'll need to buy some more bark to go down the rest of the border. We've got enough membrane and we'll need some more plants that like shade this time. Um, so yes, it is looking good. It is coming together and I am very excited. But like I say, it's gonna be a while longer. So look forward to part two, but we are almost there and I can see the finish line now. So that'll be another renovation project ticked off very soon. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again.